Haas playing Junko Enoshima from Danganronpa. Hi, I'm Kaden. I'm cosplaying as, as Mikuro from Danganronpa. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Blank Snow Cosplay. You can find me on Instagram as Mechlevania Trash. So I wanted to ask you to, uh, what made you decide to, uh, to cosplay in the, uh, in the first place? Um, we watched Danganronpa like, I say a year ago, or maybe a little less than a year ago, and we fell in love with these characters, and we thought, well, these characters are sisters, and we're sisters, so it'd probably be a cool idea if we cosplayed them and tried to do our best at being them. <laughs> So who's the older sister? You? I am. How many years? Four. Four? Yeah. That's pretty good. So, have you been keeping up with the news when it comes to the TPP and um, pretty much the TTP is a law between the US, Japan and a whole bunch of other Asian nations and the way it was written where if you're a cosplayer you could potentially get sued for copyright infringement for dressing up as a character. What are your thoughts about that? Or have you even heard of such a thing? Um, I hadn't heard of it. Um, I mean, that's a lot of uh, suing that would happen <laughs> um, because there's so many cosplayers, but I haven't. That's actually really interesting, though, yeah. that they have a law like that. <laughs> well, initially, it's just to prevent China from copyrighting a lot of things because you notice you'll see a lot of so-called ripped off anime coming from China like yeah. Dragon Ball P or something like that and you know it's fake so basically they're it's like a instead of going in like a surgeon they're just hacking away at the issue to where it may not pass but it really depends on who becomes president uh, there's actually a push by the actual mangaka to protect their fans because as a mangaka I would want some third party to sue my fans when you're dressing up as my character. If you're dressing up as my character it's like okay you became my child at that point because that's how we feel about our characters. So if you were to potentially be sued how would that make you feel because you pretty much have to hide behind the first amendment just to keep doing what you love. I'd, I'd probably be a little mad. Like, we just want to do something that we like to do. Why, why are you making us pay you a lot of money for it? Yeah, I mean, I would feel kind of uh, harassed, maybe, to say that they would try to sue me just for like dressing up as my favorite character, showing my support for the show or game or whatever. It would definitely be. Um, hard for someone to go through and it would really up upset the entire cosplay community not just the individual so how many conventions have you two been to are they all local have you like traveled to one of the bigger ones we haven't they've all been right around here in Charlotte So what's your favorite anime or manga, if you can narrow it down to just one? Um, I have like ten. <laughs> For me, it's probably... I can narrow it down to three. <laughs> probably Danganronpa, um, Death Note, and Terror in Resonance. I can narrow it down to five. Danganronpa, Attack on Titan, The Devil's Apart Timer, um, Terran Renaissance and, um, and the Moron High School also. Now you said Death Note is your favorite. Now I studied Death Note and learned how to draw people, how to sit down and everything. So what initially drew you to that series? I was, um, it, this was when I first started watching anime and I was looking for another good anime with dark themes. And it's actually funny because when I found the show, someone suggested it to me. I watched the first like 30 seconds and thought it would be weird because the first thing we see is God of Death. And I was like, okay, this might be weird. And I didn't watch it. But then the next day I kind of thought about it and I was like, well, maybe I should give it a chance. And it ended up being 
an amazing show. So. so what do you think of the um, Netflix version of the Death Note movie that they're creating? Um, I haven't really looked at it all that much because, I mean, you have oh, yeah, so much about it. <laughs> so, the actual Death Note, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's a lot better than the Netflix. I'm bad at playing. Okay, we'll just say the Netflix one isn't up to par. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm withholding judgment until I see it. Mm -hmm. There was this whole controversy where they, um, they're Americanizing it where Light's actual name is going to be Turner and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, okay, well they're an American company and they're like, well, we don't want a whole bunch of Japanese people in this movie. We're going to turn a lot of Japanese people into white people and because this is for a wide audience. I saw that comment. I was like, okay, you, you want to put butts in the seats yeah. or to get people to watch. But the biggest controversy was when they made El Black. And I was like, <laughs> but he's not. And a lot of people will look at me and go, well, you, sh you should be happy about that. And, I, and as an artist, I want someone to at least look like my character. And it's, it's not a race thing, it's like, okay, I, if I design a, a female character and she has pink hair, I understand it. Okay, she might not have pink hair, but if you have a guy player, I'm like, wait, you, you're you not a... Yeah. So, looking at some of the images, it looks a bit cheesy about how he's playing it. And my whole issue is, are they even fans of, of the anime or the manga? Because for me, that's... That's the most important thing. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how like people would react to that, honestly. I mean, sure, there's going to be some people who are like, well, I'm going to like it anyway just because I want to support the franchise and everything and it's my favorite show. But I feel like people, including me, are going to say, like, well, it's so different that I can't even look at it the same way that I looked at the original show. So, I mean, and with the whole name thing, I feel like Light's name is very symbolic. And when they would just change that, that's just something that there's no symbolic meaning behind it, you know? It's, it's kind of strange. Now that I think about it, I don't think Turner actually means anything. It doesn't, yeah. Because <laughs> most English names where if your name was Bottom Valley, your name would be like, let's say your name was Sally. So you, uh, back in the day, your name would be Sally of the Valley at the bottom of a hill or whatever, and eventually it just became Bottom Valley, and then took the of the and the does away, and that yeah. usually came in the middle name. So hopefully it'll be a good movie. If not, yeah. at least I've already paid for Netflix, so it didn't cost me anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'll still, you know, watch it to see how it goes and everything. So, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't make any, like, true judgments about it until watching the entire thing, thinking back on the show, and looking at the differences and how they actually affect it. Have you all um, noticed the Death Note sequel that they're planning to create in Japan? I think it might be out. Really? I haven't. I mean, I heard about it back, like, a couple years ago. I had heard about how they were thinking about, like, making some sort of, like, sequel or creation or something. So, I haven't heard of it, but that sounds really cool. It's a sequel where they're supposed to be 12 different uh, Kiras this time. Oh, wow. <laughs> and initially, uh, a, friend of, a friend of mine, he was going to be the writer for a project that we're going to do, like, you know, as a dude-gen. But then he passed away, so I, you know, I'd lay that to rest. And then this comes out, and I was like, okay, I need to go over to Japan because some of the ideas I had are crazy. I had one of the cures become the president. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's like, wait, he's the president, and he's telling the other cures who he doesn't know it, what they look like or their names or anything. They're like, okay, kill these people for oh, me. Wow. So I thought, you know, if we had been able to get up, I really thought people would have liked that. We even had a, a story where we light became a god of death. That, that's what happens after you yeah, use the death. Yeah, everyone note. was counting on that one. How he would be a new death god, and then come down to earth with someone else. And, yeah. Where we, we we pretty much we wanted to start off as in America, and then you know 
they were worshippers of Kira and then they hunted down Light's sister to, yeah. just to be around her you know to bring in some of the other characters in because it's like when they do a sequel and it's all new characters you kind of don't feel the same attachment yeah yeah because I noticed they did they did that with Yu-Gi-Oh and you're like okay first episode you had Yugi in it and then it's all new people and you're like oh, okay I really won't I'm not gonna watch until Kaba shows up or something yeah. shows up for like five minutes but hopefully it all turns out pretty well yeah I hope so I mean it sounds promising so yeah. alright thank you ladies have a great day you too